limbering up for a fight as the menacing force of the local militia arrives at the gates. They try to persuade the Ukrainian troops holed up here to leave. But the Ukrainian soldier says they'll stay to the end to defend their commander's honor. The colonel's a dejected man. He's been waiting for 23 days to be given orders to pull out his troops, but they never came. Can you really defend yourselves? I hope so, he says. He accuses the Russians of behaving like fascists. The militias have used persuasion, threats and violence in the past. Today, they promise to be peaceful. No fighting, no arms, no, no, no. We, we are for, for peace. Only peace, only peace. It's our brothers. It wasn't peaceful at all. Heavily armored Russian forces stormed the base. Reporters were forced to the ground, footage confiscated. These are pictures Moscow doesn't want you to see. Well, as you can see, Russian forces with armored vehicles have now broken into the compound. They've come through at two different points as the so-called self-defense forces on the other side are massing near the gate. It's the first time we've seen Russian troops in action in this conflict. A message to Ukraine and the outside world with a show of brute force. Remarkably, there was only one minor injury. Outmanned and outgunned, the Ukrainian troops had no response but to surrender. They've been taunted, isolated and finally humiliated. As Russia took control of the base, they sang their national anthem. Fatefully titled, Ukraine isn't dead yet. But in Crimea it seems that way.